Alrighty, so today we are going to be talking about hidden potential builds for the 9th anniversary LRs, specifically Gogeta and Broly. You've had a couple days to pull them, you've had a couple days of using them, I'm sure. You've wondered what the hidden potential build is, and maybe you are saving some skill orbs to figure out what you want to do with the characters. So, fear not, I am here today to talk about what I think you should be doing with each one of the characters, in specific uh, being both of the uh, part one LRs. We'll probably do a video for the part two LRs, and if you really want one for the banner units, we can do one as well, but uh, not really going to be focusing on that. Really, just cliff note that one, full dodge, just you'll be good to go. So, uh, let's start with, who do we want to start with? Uh, who did I open first? I opened Broly first. So, today we're going to, or not today, but in this uh, segment, we're going to be talking about Broly. So, how do we an, uh, analyze what a hidden potential build is going to be for a character? Uh, hidden potential, or not hidden potential effects, super attack effects are important, as well as some of the details in the passive skill. What do they already have that's going to be helping you out a lot <laughs> that you don't need to emphasize with the hidden potential? That's why we kind of got to explain the process, right? So the first thing that Broly is going to be doing on his 18 key super attack is he's going to be greatly stacking his attack and then raising his defense for greatly raising his defense for four turns. So with that greatly raising defense for four turns, you're going to be able to see that the next time that he is on rotation again. So essentially, if once you do this 18 key, that defensive raise is not going away because you're going to be able to re up on it every turn, every time you see him. So that is one thing that we need to keep in mind, that he is going to be stacking his attack and not stacking his defense. So automatically, this is going to kind of make uh, additional super attacks not as important because stacking attack is way less important than stacking defense. Now, looking at the second attack effect of the 12 key, it's going to be raising attack again. So more attack stacking and raising defense for one turn and also causing colossal damage to the enemy. So raising attack by 50% on the 18 key and then stacking it again on by 30% on the 12 key is going to mean that this character is going to be getting very high attack numbers. So additional supers are going to be nice for his damage, but not necessarily for his defense. You just need two supers to get the highest possible uh, defensive attack uh, or defensive stats from the super attack. So keep that in mind that we don't or we are not going to need additional on this Broly. Because once we get into the kit down here, you are going to be seeing that, right? Once we get in here, we activate the intro. Uh, key 5, attack and defense 100% at the start of turn, and launches an additional super attack for 4 turns in the character's entry turn. So, in these 4-5 to five turn fights, you always are going to be getting a guaranteed additional. Then, at the start of the turn, you know, attack defense, or attack and defense 150, and guards all attacks. Not as important for the hidden potential build, but what you can see right here, plus an additional attack, plus 50% when performing a super attack, plus an additional defense, plus 50% if it is an ultra super attack. So, in 18 key, we're going to be getting more defense on that super attack, and then key plus 2, and launch an additional att super attack as the first or second attacker in a turn. So, what does that mean? If you're in slot one or in slot two, we are already getting a guaranteed additional from that. And we are also getting a guaranteed additional from the intro for the first four turns. So what does that mean, right? First attack, or what is that? What is What am I trying to get at, right? The first a couple turns of this fight, this Broly is never going to need additional because from the passive and the intro animation, you are going to be getting guaranteed additional supers no matter what. So the five additional that we are going to be getting, plus like whatever extra additional you might have on like a good skill orb for dodge or crit, is going to help this Broly out a lot because you are going to be able to be getting at least three supers every time for the first few turns. And then key plus six launches an additional super attack and a high chance of launching another additional super attack as the third attacker in a turn. So this guy can essentially just do a billion supers, right? We're going to be able to stack the attack very well. And if you want to get the most damage out of this guy, then I'd highly recommend for the hidden potential build that for Broly, you emphasize crit. And then if you want to add a little bit of dodge, you can go ahead and do that as well. So the main hidden potential build for this Broly, you want to get the crit as high as you can go because of this base form who you're going to see, be seeing most of the time is doing a ton of supers. So looking at his domain, what happens with the domain effects, right? <laughs> what happens after we transform? The domain effects we're not worried about. We're just worried about hidden potential. Uh, reduces damage received before being atta attacking, so slot 1, very nice, uh, plus an additional attack, plus 50% when attacking, uh, launches an additional super attack guaranteed again, chance of performing a critical hit when performing a super attack, launches it another additional super attack, and chance of performing a critical hit, launches another additional super attack. So, we're talking 3-4 to four supers every time you see this character, no matter what. So, do you want to protect him in fights that are difficult and he's not killing the enemy fast enough, go dodge. If you think you can just take out the enemy and go as fast as you can, you don't go crit. So in my opinion, you should build this Broly with as much crit as possible. And if you can get a little bit of extra dodge in there at the same time, I think that is going to be good for this character based on the sheer amount of additional supers that he is going to be doing just in his passive. So Broly, crit, dodge, you're good. Now, Gogeta. Let's go ahead and move on to this bad boy. 
This is going to be a character where instead of focusing on crit as much, we are going to be focusing on the opposite. Why do we want to focus on additional and dodge with this character? Maybe not even as much dodge, but mostly additional. Well, I'm glad you asked. He is a defensive stacker. So if you guys know, defensive stackers are going to be important for additional attacks because we're going to be able to raise that defense an infinite amount of times by doing more super attacks. So if we're doing two to three to four super attacks on a turn, that means his defense is going to be very high going into the next turn and then the next turn and then the next turn, right? Then we're also greatly raising the attack for one turn and then greatly raising the attack and defense for one turn on that 12 key. So when we look at this passive, right? Why do I not care about crit? <laughs> attacks effective against all types. If you guys don't know, that is just going to mean that even when he's type neutral or if he is at type disadvantage, it is not going to matter. His attacks are going to hit as if he was uh, either type neutral or type advantage. Plus an additional attack and defense plus 100% performing a super attack doesn't matter. Guards all attacks for three turns from the character's entry turn. This is going to help by getting additional supers, making that defensive stat as high as it can go when the guard wears off. And then randomly changes key spheres, launches an additional attack that has a great chance of becoming a super attack, and then launches an additional atta super attack with one or more rainbow key spheres obtained. So we want to get that extra hidden potential super in there. So we're going to be able to stack the defense as much as possible. And then we want to launch an additional attack that has a great chance of becoming a super attack. It's just going to give us that extra chance. So we already potentially have two additional super attacks that can happen from the passive system. So the hidden potential system could potentially make that a third additional super attack. So four supers with rate greatly rate or stacking the defense on the first one with that 18 key. And then also getting the other defensive raises is going to be very important because the defensive number is stacking. And we're also doing those extra supers to make the number higher. So after we transform, this character is going to stay in the same boat and he is going to have attacks effective against all types, launches an additional super attack, another super ad additional super attack, so already three supers right there. And then we have a great chance of evading enemy attacks. So the same idea, we can get three to four supers if we have hidden potential chance uh, supers activating to give us four supers that are going to be effective against all types. And then if you want to throw some dodge in there, that would potentially help because you're going to be able to uh, get the extra chance because you can see right here, we have a great chance of evading the enemy's attack. But, you know, you could also potentially add some more onto there to help you out because, you know, when you have dodge in the hidden potential system, you know, this is something that I believe Truth said, but it's like, <laughs> was it the 70% chance to dodge, dodge that procced or was it the three dodge from the hidden potential system that procced, right? Uh, that is, I guess, like, it's kind of a meme, but it's also something that is valid, right? Uh, having extra dodge on this character is nice because he is a dodge or die unit when he is in Gogeta Blue for the, um, you know, the extra turns uh, that you have when you're using this guy, especially in the harder fights against like ninth, anth ninth anniversary bosses and stuff like that. So there you have it. Uh, hidden potential systems. Uh, if you want to go with Bill Broly, I recommend that you uh, emphasize crit and then add some extra dodge. And then with Gogeta, I think you should go emphasize additional and then also add some extra dodge on the end. Uh, I know you guys are probably thinking, oh, well, Vilify, he has extra dodge, or he has guaranteed dodging in his taunt. I know, but that's only one turn of the fight, so keep that in mind. So there you have it. Like I said, hidden potential builds for both of the new ninth anniversary LRs. I'm sure that this will be helpful to some. Uh, keep in mind that Broly will be getting uh, good skill orbs from the ninth anniversary battle mission, as well as the super bosses uh, extreme or the EX skill orb event as well. So make sure you're giving these guys your best skill orbs. They are definitely worth it. And that's all I got for you. So thank you guys for watching. I hope you enjoyed today's video. Uh, if you have not pulled these characters yet, good luck. Uh, if you did enjoy today's video and found it helpful, leave a like and subscribe if you are new so you don't miss out on any of my Dokkan content. Thank you guys for watching and I'll see you all in the next one.